Hello and welcome to DAP Radar, your most trusted source for DAP data. So in this video I am going to show you how to set up a uh, MetaMask wallet for the uh, Avalanche blockchain. So obviously MetaMask is something we mainly have used for Ethereum, although it can be used actually for uh, many other blockchains. So I've um, done a previous video of setting it up for the Binance Smart Chain and I uh, use it for Thundercore and, and basically anything that supports the um, Ethereum uh, EVM, um, the, the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, so what we need to do to do this is we need to go down um, and we need to basically, we need to s uh, select the custom option here. So this is where we're gonna, it's very simple, <laughs> but it, here we're gonna kind of um, put in the, the inputs that allow MetaMask um, to to interact with the, with the um, Avalanche blockchain. So we can see here, obviously we need to be careful about this. So, um, you know, we need, you, don't, you don't just mess around <laughs> and add stuff um, that you don't know what you're doing, but I'm taking this information from uh, the uh, Avalanche uh, docs uh, section for developers. So uh, network name, um, it's that, um, which uh, doesn't really matter that much, uh, but this one does. So we need to put in the URL that it's gonna look at. Um, so this is telling it um, what to look for. Um, then we have a chain ID. Um, okay, so this obviously what this is doing is this is telling the MetaMask where to look, and this is uh, uh, a kind of a you know a way of uh, checking that the, the the blockchain and the MetaMask are um, doing doing the same thing. Um, and then we have a symbol, uh, which doesn't really matter that much, but obviously that's the symbol of the um, of the uh, Avalanche uh, cryptocurrency. And then we have the block explorer, which is also optional, but it, this is like um, uh, Etherscan. So when you when you're using MetaMask and it, you, you want to check the transactions going through, you, you click on you click on a, uh, a button and it takes you away to Etherscan. So when we click on a button to see what's going on with the um, Avalanche network, that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna um, save that, and um, now there, there there we have it. So um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's as simple as that. So there we have, we've created a new account here. Um, obviously, uh, we don't have any uh, avalanche in there because you know, <laughs> we've just created the, we've just created the, the, the wallet. Um, so if we did have avalanche on a uh, exchange somewhere or in another wallet, um, you can create a, a, you know, a native avalanche uh, wallet. Um, so we could, we could um, copy that, uh, copy this address and, and send it. Um, I'm not sure what buyer's gonna give us. Okay, so we have some, some options here. Um, but this is actually, if be careful here, this is for um, ETH. So, so um, these are just default for um, for MetaMask. So, so I don't think we can use these to buy Avalanche. So, so this kind of gets us so far. It gets us um, with a with a wallet that will interact with the Avalanche blockchain. But obviously, we've not got any tokens, not got any value um, on the Avalanche blockchain. So, so that will be another step in order to to, to do that. Um, but just, I think it just goes to show that, that uh, MetaMask is. Yeah, it's, it's such a valuable asset that um, I guess lots of us have used it. It's the, I think it's the most used um, uh, kind of wallet interface on, on Ethereum. And now, um, because a lot of these new blockchains uh, you know, realize how much value there is on the Ethereum blockchain, they are compatible with Ethereum. So you can have, um, you can kind of set up these, these, these new other wallets. So, so that's a very simple way of doing it. Um, um, and now if you know, if you go and, and get some, some uh, of the Avalanche tokens and put them in, in uh, into your wallet, uh, transfer them to your wallet, then you can start interacting with with the um, dApps on Avalanche. To be fair, I don't think there's that many dApps on Avalanche at the moment, um, but they have just um, done, made some announcements um, about bridging to Ethereum, which suggests that um, there's gonna be there's gonna be some dApps moving over or some dApps, some current Ethereum dApps that are gonna launch versions on Avalanche as well. So I'll keep an eye on that and do some videos as, as appropriate, but um, hope this was useful. Um, obviously, always be careful when you're messing around with things like the internet, uh, the, the blockchain <laughs> and the internet, um, and particularly when you're doing, putting um, value in there. So, so um, you know, be, the first time you would, you would transfer some value in, you know, just do a small, a small transfer. Um, to check it's all working and, and, and you've got it all right first. So uh, yeah, just uh, yeah. Um, uh, as, they, as they say, measure twice and cut once. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you find this stuff is useful. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you do. Uh, but thanks for watching and see you again soon.